Yeah, so now everything is freezing. It's perfect. I have Chrome crashing and Unity is unresponsive. So let's hold on for it. It might take a while. man right so Okay, I think we are online. Okay, apparently we are. So let's try this. We might get, we might stuck again. We might run out of memory. And we do. Okay, that's actually kind of weird. No. It's, but it kind of means that we have something is wrong with our code then okay so let's add some change whatever let's try and debug this it's going to be a little bit troublesome but apparently we're going to fix it on the end so let's wait till unity opens If it wants to open, come on. Okay, so we're back. Let's check what we need to do with our Pathfinder. Hmm, that's interesting. And as you can see, everything is freezing. So if this continues for more than 10 minutes, I'm just going to have to stop the stream because we're really doing nothing here. But feel free to say anything you want on the chat. And maybe I'll see it because the chat is stuck as well.
yeah pretty much everything is freezing okay we're back on so the problems start to happen once we started adding this and once yeah this is exactly the same as we had before so I don't understand why this will be a problem okay let's remove the threads from this list just to make sure we do not have something screwed and let's actually bring only one floor into the table okay maybe it's that maybe it's not just so that we can see now let's hit play okay and yeah so I just click once now we're still stuck so that's a bummer so we were building grid floor okay so here's what we're going to have to do we're actually going to have to oops yeah before we do that let's break it let's close unity and let's bring back let's open it up again and we're going to go step by step We add the entire process and all of our scripts and maybe we find it maybe we won't find it we'll see but i think i'm going to yeah if we do not find a solution for this i don't think i'm going to solve it in front of the camera so uh yeah we might have to end the stream early today we'll see so we are back in and i'm going to go on to my scripts and i'm going to attach this to unity the first breakpoint I'm going to use will be on to here so when we are building a new task on a field square for just the floor apparently this works as well then the next one will be inside our find path as well I think this two should cover it but we'll see So I'm just going to click once. Okay, so let's go step over, step into. Okay, units is on task equals false. On assigned unit, step into. Unit set current task. Okay. Request pathfinder job. Request pathfinder job. Is calculating path. Okay new pathfinder job this will do everything that we told it to do okay next it's adding it on the jobs okay let's hit continue then find path actual we are here this will start doing it a while our set is open okay close set current node equals fake node continues So yeah, this I think this should probably hmm. Yeah, I think probably this runs indefinitely. And let's 
put a trace path here and it does coming back okay so the trace still happens okay then the trace path would be this result continue oh so the trace path never actually runs so here's where you are stuck then I think it's this while loop or maybe not oh, oh, oh yeah I know what it is I think it is the I think it's this is the culprit yeah most likely that is that's that so let's do a quick restart for unity I think that allowed unity to throw and run some threads on the background although I don't see why it should it will have uh, broken the yeah it will have uh, Crashed memory. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we have this running running background. Okay. Let's hit play. Maybe it allowed some threads to not. Yeah, no, that wasn't that. Nothing is running on the background. Technically, what I don't know. Yeah, so apparently the trace path worked fine, but this loop never ran. So let's maybe do a quick restart once more. Yeah, there's a few projects that I can't actually show you. That's why I'm closing and giving you a black screen because they are right on the Unity main splash screen. Okay, and we're back. So let's attach this back to Unity and hit play okay continue continue so it's going to step into okay and that's just going to look through all the nodes reverses it returns Trace path, okay. Returns you the result. Find path actual, job is done. So, why are you complaining? Continue. Callback is not equals null. Invokes the callback, which is in this case is loading the task, is loading the path. So in this case is doing all of this okay uh, what's next pretty much nothing okay else oh hold on Where are we removing the current jobs? I think we... Yeah, okay. Here's the culprit. This needs... Damn it. So basically, this list, the current jobs, I think we are never re removing it. 
Yeah, that was the culprit. For whatever reason, I removed remove the current job from the current jobs. Okay, that was stupid. That's weird. How did I miss that? Anyway. Okay, unfortunately we're going to have to do one more. Oh well, at least I hope this is it. But I don't see anything else at this moment. How something really that simple could ruin things, eh? Okay, let's test it. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now I totally forget where we were. I think we were building our floors. And then we were building our walls. Okay, so let's try our multiple floor buildings. So let's make three floors. Should not be seeing the black screen. The black scene. The black scene is just when I do operations outside of Unity. Okay, let's create two floors. Then let's go up. Let's create some more floors. And let's go up and create the floors. Perfect. Real nice. And let's go down and let's create some ladders. And I have right click creating doors by accident. So this guy is going to come here and is going to build some ladders. Perfect. Okay, let's clean up our mouse operations. And let's remove. Okay, let's remove this entirely. And let's. I think we don't need this anymore. O either this and now this line. Update then. Just delete this entirely and this and just leave these three methods. How you have so many courses on your web? Mostly because I've been doing this for six years. And for six years, for pretty much five days, at least five days a week. So, you know, things tend to, to build on top. So we have all of this. We can build our walls now around it. Let's do some visualization for this. We should clean up the codes at some point, but not right now. So let's say we want to do some visualization for when you're saying, you know, something's going to build on that node. When we are building when we're creating a build task, let's say, say build floor. Build floor. I kind of want to take this and create it inside the build task. Let's cut that and let's say we add it here. I think we're going to need to access the grid manager. We can instantiate because we do not derive from one behavior, but if we do game object dot instantiate, that's going to work. Then grid manager GM grid manager singleton. There's that and node 
is going to be replaced with target node. Target node. Uh, we don't use this anymore, so delete that. Okay, so on the sprite now, we can add the sprite we have depending on the build type. Or we can just add something that, you know, indicates that something is going to be built there. Don't know how should we do this though. Do we have a build rod? Hello from Mother Russia. Thank you for your lessons. Davai. Or, yeah, I don't know any Russian, so. Uh, let's think, let's think, let's think. Uh, uh, we had on our build manager, we have our sprites for our build sprites. Yeah, we have our base build here. So let's create a method that depending on the build type is going to be return us the sprite, probably sprite, get sprite for build method. Mouse operations, build type, build type, and let's do a switch. Return floor, return wall, return door, return ladder, return null. So, this kind of the layman's approach to this, just saying, sprite. Build type and then on our sprite just assign that target node dot node instance sprite renderer dot sprite assign that sprite I'm going to change the the color of it color dot or color color let's say color dot yellow color dot a equals 0.02f or whatever then target node node instance sprite renderer dot color equals color and when we are actually updating our sprites onto our build manager so basically this or anywhere else we're building we should be updating the Yeah, we should be updating the color as well to just white, I guess. Actually, we shouldn't do anything like that because that's going to ruin. Yeah, that's going to ruin. Oh, damn it. So here's what I'm going to do. Ignore all of this because it's going to ruin the way we handle floors. It's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to do public sprite in construction. We're just going to add whatever there. And then on your build task, let's just ignore this entirely. Okay, and just assign that. And that's more for us to know where we're placing things. Let's see, do we have anything? Well, let's use this for now. Although, yeah, that's kind of going to become a problem really fast.
and it actually didn't work that's great and why it didn't work I need to unstash it no specify vendor I think it didn't work because we didn't enable the sprite render most likely you have any questions or anything whatever I think we're going to be live for about 20 to 30 minutes and this doesn't work either oh I think it doesn't yeah I think the sprite is wrong let's try a different sprite because this is for the UI maybe there's some issues for that so let's put a naked guy wherever we should be building oh no it's the pixel ratio the pixel yeah I don't know technically all of them should have been working but whatever they don't Hmm. It's weird. Polytask, sprite, sprite render, and then why are you not working? Let's find our build manager. Is there any AI in Survival Hunter based? Survival Hall has really basic AI at the moment. I kind of want some assets for that. The turn based only has some uh, field of view detection. At the moment, we're going to do this. We're going to add much later uh, proper AI for the turn based series. Floor. The power stash it. This now is redundant as well. So we're building walls. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, that's why. We forgot to place it on the very center. So we were building it, just never placing it. on the wall pos on the actual node position how did I learn all of that by trying and fail mostly and do that for enough years and you, g you will end up with a lot of naked dudes like this okay so these are some indicators feel free to change the naked dudes I mean to anything else for sprites don't know what I'm going to have to create assets so creating the assets is actually really painful or well really time consuming so as we can see we now have a few issues that we end up with multiple game objects and the sprites do not update or we end up with multiple operations on the same nodes that's interesting let's see why yeah like this doesn't even what on earth that's weird let's find our camera and let's find one of those duplicates so this guy is here and this guy is where? 42 to 49. And this guy is 42 to 49. So we have multiple nodes. Yeah, I've actually haven't played Alien Isolation. I know the AI is famous but uh, I've actually never played it 
Okay, so we now have multiple target nodes. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say if target node dot no distance is null, then only instance is dot all that and update it and so on and so on. Otherwise, just update the sprite rendering. We don't need this then. Yeah, technically, this should fix it. Okay, this and those. I think we had that on the walls. The problems was there. So let's create some walls there. With the same framework we are doing this, we could also make a game like uh, Scissors 3. If you remember the game, if you are that old, like me. Which is a great case. So I think maybe I'll start another series, maybe offline. And do a game like that. Okay, so I still think we do have multiple cases. Here. But I don't know if... You see there's some cases that have to be thought over. But some of those guys actually get stuck, as you can see. And I think they are building on the same nodes, which means some of the nodes we are getting are duplicates. So. Whenever we are doing a mouse operation then, and saying build floor tile square <laughs> even though no this is okay node no distance if it's null then build that task again but why are we getting the multiples then fill square actually works fine so probably the base yeah it's oh yeah that's why because we're not checking for multiple cases. Okay. So let's do build line of base, build line of base. Okay. Let's do a list of nodes. then it's not we are adding we're going to be adding it in the, n the tenth value but only if it's if it's not included in the list we are passing here so if L dot contains in the node if it does not contain it then create a new build task otherwise you do not need it okay copy that minus that okay so list list of nodes list of nodes and then a list of nodes dot add range list of nodes add range and the final one doesn't need to be included okay 
obviously because we do not have another operation after it we can just return not perfect so uh, I think we have some errors are we even using this we're not using this so you know easy fix okay so I think we'll be about five more minutes on we are now actually 36 so we're going to be about 15 more minutes uh, we are like uh, I think uh, for about two hours and a bit more we had some issues we had some technical issues which was a stupid comment I read it or comment out uh, one line or whatever so we do have building our floors let's try building our walls building walls of naked dudes was always my dream I guess apparently I mean Okay, so we're going to start building the walls, perfect. Okay, so let's build some walls here. And we would like to access now that area from, uh, from another floor. So we're going to go down. And while we are below it, we can create some floors. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now that will take some time to, to create the, all of this. And after those walls are done, Let's create some other walls inside as well. Now it doesn't show really what we're going to see. And we're going to build some doors and some ladders and we should be done. you have any questions or whatever feel free to talk in the chat Yeah, it takes some time, so maybe you can do this a bit faster. Yeah, screw this. Uh, let's make a lot of units. So we actually have a bigger power force or building force or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's make it even bigger. Naked use everywhere. Perfect. This can be turned into a Zergrass game, I guess. So, on the top floor, and actually, let's create some walls for this as well. On the top floor, then, let's build some more floors. And then some walls around it. I think this needs to be updated. Yeah. So you see, I've actually drank the walls on top of them, but they did not update. They have to build first the floor and then the walls. So keep that in mind. That's another issue we're probably going to have to address. 
so let's build all of this let's build our walls let's build our, f our force uh, our floors that's actually going to be a great gif i mean naked gifs everywhere And here's the problem. Now they will all be stuck here because there's no ladders for this. So let's build a ladder and oh, some guy some guy went down and actually made the ladder, which means we have some issues with our pathfinding. But anyway, we can fix that later. And let's try and build a door. I was going to go down there and build it. Another guy here. Yeah, okay. I say good enough for this uh, part. We did a lot of things. Uh, basically we are turning this from controlling our units to an actual colony game okay then we're going to create other stuff most of them we've seen them already in our colony sim the actual colony sim where we had a needs framework uh, depending on if they have to eat if they have to sleep or whatever they were doing things we're going to have to redo all of that but in a space environment so it's up to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Have a nice day as well. And I'll be on for about three more minutes, max. Also, feel free to join the Discord channel if you haven't already obviously and feel free to request new stuff i do have a few ideas for other series not live ones if i'm able to increase my volume a bit more how does this sound although now it's kind of pointless i guess let's see So yeah, I do have some ideas for other series. Not all of them will be live streams. Most of them will be normal uh, series we're doing, pre-recorded ones. And then, you know, we're going to move on forward with new things, uh, new series. Now, the next live stream will probably be in the weekend for Space Colony, though I do not know if it will be saturday or sunday or might be monday after that we're going to have to resume live streams for after the 20th because i'll be in norway i'm not going to be home okay so live streams will be happening there there will be a lot of new series coming this week actually so keep an eye on the site as well and on the discord channel so Last chance, if you have something to say on the chat, feel free to say it now. Otherwise, we are going away and I'll see you on the next one. As always, you know what to do. Do the like, do the subscribe, do the share, and do the Patreon if you like what you're seeing and want to see more stuff and want to support it. Okay, we also have the Gamrod. Another way to support it is by getting maybe a project or two. All of those things. So we can continue making all of these nice and beautiful things. So, last chance. I'm going to wait two minutes till the scene catches up and I'm going to close it. Yeah, I raised the volume on the, on the controller, but apparently it didn't work. I'm actually not getting any lines or volume lines anyway 
So, yeah, that will be it. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'll see you on the next.